Hi, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be sharing five types of digital products that you can start selling online. I'll not only share the ways, but also some examples so that you can kind of envision how you'll be creating your digital product and how they're doing it too. And I'll also be sharing some tools that you can use to start creating those types of digital products. So let's get to the first idea. All right, the first type of digital product that you can create are guides and eBooks. The reason why I've put this as number one, even though this video isn't kind of like a top 10, top five sort of thing, but I always like to refer to guides and eBooks as one of the best digital products that you can create because it's almost like the easiest kind of digital product you can create because essentially and technically it is just a PDF document. You could very well start creating your guide or ebook in Word, Google Docs or Alternate. But if you want an easier and faster way of creating step-by-step -step guides specifically, there's a cool tool called Scribe. Scribe will help you shortcut your process in taking all those screenshots and then putting the text in for every single step of your guide. So when I'm talking about guide, we're talking about things like creating SOPs, maybe some training docs and some other examples that they share on their website. But in your case, it could be a guide on how to start your first website or whatever your topic may be. But with Scribe, it essentially, like I said, it takes screenshots for you. And here's a 91 step guide that I created in just a matter of minutes. Really, all I needed to do was run through the process itself, such as going to this address, clicking on setup, clicking on start now, every single one of these was actually created by Scribe. I didn't have to write a single word. I didn't have to manually take a screenshot of my screen. It's done it all for me. And what I can do after that is export it as a PDF document like this, you see, and that is the entire digital product that I can start selling. There is a similar tool called Guide. And in fact, I've got a video about each of the tools, Scribe and also Guide. I'll link it up in the description box below. Another tool you can use to create your eBooks and guides is called Designer. Now this is the backend and how it looks like. You can start creating an eBook by clicking on Create eBook. Then you can choose a method of creating your eBook. You can import from an existing Word doc or Google doc, or you can even import existing content content on the web that you may have, such as your blog, or let's say you've got a medium.com blog, you can import it by clicking that, put in the URL of all your blog posts, it'll pick it up and then convert it into a ready-made ebook. So for example, this is one of my articles I wrote uh, many years back, but it's able to pick it up, including the image laid out all out in this ebook format, as you can see. And all I really need to do is just customize this further with my own title, give this ebook a name, and then save it as a PDF document. Another way is by using Canva. They've got a range of ebook slash A4 templates. So if you simply search for A4 in your Canva account, you'll find and come across some of these templates like this one here. It's got 17 pages involved with different layouts. So browse through them. Some just don't have multiple pages. This one here has got, but it is for pro users only. And as you know, Canva is really easy to use. You can fully customize a template the way you want and then enter your content. If you wanna learn more on how to create your ebook from scratch, I've got more comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorials in the link in the description, which will show you how to create an ebook in Canva, how to create one in Designer, and how to create one even in Google Docs. So go ahead and check that out. And speaking of ebooks and guides, my very own ebook called 50 Digital Product Ideas will help you find that perfect idea for your next digital product. So I'll link it up in the description box below. It's a 30 page guide, PDF immediately. You can download it after purchasing, but in there you'll see some examples so that you can see for yourself how it's being used in the real world. The 50 ideas were curated by myself from doing research and also sharing examples of the types of digital products I'm selling as well. So if you wanna start selling digital products today, go ahead and click the link in the description box below to grab your copy. The next type of digital product you can create are templates. 
With templates, you can go many routes with this because you could go the design route in terms of design templates. You could go and create trackers and planners that are template based. So then one can just simply copy or print it out and you've got prompts as well. So I'll share some examples with you so you can get a better idea in terms of what templates are. If you head to etsy.com, do a quick search for something like ebook template. You'll see a range of these ebook templates for sale and this one here you can see is a coaching guide template already designed uh, for you. So this person is making a killing off of this single template. It's got 40 pages, ebook interior design being sold for about seven US dollars. And as you can see, the customer gets the digital download file. It's simply one PDF and they get instant download to it. And technically this is a Canva template created from scratch, but I'll share more about Canva templates later on in this video. And there are more examples of ebook templates specifically. Also search for social media templates to get an idea because right here we've got 1,800 Instagram posts and story templates and all these other ones that look really aesthetic. And these sellers either created from scratch or if you have no design skills, what you can do is outsource the designs, the creative you know, creations of it and then sell it on places like Etsy. So you don't necessarily have to be a designer to make these kinds of designs. You've also got planners as well. So these different habit trackers and planners, there's this minimalist style, a budget and finance template, digital planners and all sorts of planners that one can get. Another interesting type of template that you can sell are prompts. Elise Dahmer is successfully selling prompts in her vaults, which is what she calls her digital products. And she's selling things like story vaults, which includes all these story prompts that one can use so that they're not stuck in terms of what should I talk about in my next Instagram story. There's also videos, uh, vault. Uh, we've also got a social bank. Caption vault is a good one. It includes 300 done for you caption templates. So if they do want to have those prompts and ideas and templates essentially uh, to writing those Instagram captions, then this is a great little piece of product. After taking a look at some of the examples, think about what template you can create as a digital product that will help shortcut one success in your niche. The next type of digital product you can start selling is an online course. Now this can be easy or it can be difficult to create depending on the complexity of your topic. For instance, when I created my YouTube master course, which you can see this is the back end and what students see, this has almost like a hundred videos. So quite comprehensive and it took me many, many hours to create. Whereas if you have an online course that only requires three videos, four videos, or perhaps it's a course that doesn't even have a video, it's just all text-based, then maybe that may take you much less time than I have spent hours creating mine. So this is where I'm selling my YouTube master course. Currently it's on the wait list. I plan to relaunch this eventually, but I haven't relaunched in, in a year or two. Uh, this is how I'm presenting it on my landing page and all the modules that a student will get when they sign up. So this is pretty much created on my own website through Webflow, at least the landing page, but the whole backend is controlled by a platform called Thinkific. So this is what Thinkific looks like, uh, you know, at least with the back end of it, but you can pretty much get away with a free alternate called Payhip. They've got a course option. So if you click on course, you can start creating your online course by entering a title and then you can add your modules and lessons to your course like this demo here. When I preview it as an enrolled student, this is what enrolled students will see. So very similar in that way, except it's all free. All you need to pay is just that transaction fee that Payhip charges when you actually make a sale. Otherwise they've got these paid plans where it reduces those fees. A few tools to help you create your online course, that is the actual content of your course include Corso. This one's a great one. It uses AI and uses your existing content and then turns them into online courses. Once you've signed up, you just go through the process of creating your course. When you head to the sources section, all you need to do is paste the link. Let's say you've got an existing YouTube video. You can paste it in there as one of the sources. And then what it'll do is lay out your online course, like this example on how to create effective YouTube thumbnails that I created a while ago, but 
if I click on begin course, you can see an introduction of the importance of thumbnails. And all this was picked up from my existing YouTube video and it's inserted the content, not word for word. This is all kind of AI generated. It's kind of reworded it so that it makes more sense in terms of putting it into an online course format. Down the bottom, it's got like a key takeaway and an actionable step and a quiz that uh, your student can take. Clicking on next will take them to the next lesson. So designing thumbnails with Canva and your student can simply go through the rest of your course, click on share, and then you've got this link that you can now share to your students who have actually paid for your online course. That is if you're actually going to be charging for it. A couple of similar tools include Learning Studio and you've also got Mini Course Generator. If you wanna take a look at a past video I made about these three tools, look in the description box below. Now, if you wanna start creating an online course that's video-based, specifically something you share on your screen, then I recommend a simple screen recording tool such as Teller. This helps you record your screen and also record your webcam at the same time. The back end looks like this after you've recorded your videos. So I've got a few here. I predominantly use it just to share with my staff and give them a few training and also provide feedback to my team members. But it's an extension you can install on your browser or you can do it on their web. So click on new recording and then that will give you all these options like what you see right here and there's quite a few other options that you can see uh, in terms of how you wanna record. And then with those videos, you can download them and then use a course or learning management system such as Thinkific, as you saw, or Payhip, which was the free alternate. Okay, moving on, the next digital product idea are systems. When I talk about systems, I mean things like planners and trackers, and even workspace or project management systems. Now, I'm not talking about the whole software tool, but something you've already created within it that has helped you in your day-to-day -day workflow, for instance. And for me, I'm selling my master YouTube content planner. This is a workspace system that I'm using to organize my entire YouTube content calendar. This idea came about when I wanted a more organized, systematic approach to organizing my entire YouTube channel, at least the content, the schedule. So that's when I opened up Notion, I created this board. So I'll show you what it actually looks like. This right here is the master YouTube content planner that I'm selling. And it doesn't include obviously my ideas, <laughs> but what one can get is the basic template and they can start jotting or entering their own ideas and then go through the process of this kind of conveyor style. This is called a Kanban board. And what's great about Notion, and I'm sure some other workspace systems like Trello and Asana, is that you can actually share your workspace or project management or more so project file as a template so that it doesn't affect your existing uh, workspace, but instead they get a copy of it. At the moment, I'm selling my master YouTube content planner for $27 for the basic or the pro, which includes a few extra modules. And it doesn't stop with just a workspace system or project management system, of course. This is just an example, but take a look at your day-to-day. -day. What are you currently systemizing that is saving you a heap of time and energy from repeating the same thing over and over, perhaps, or something that helps you, you know, with your headspace, Think about that because it could be as simple as a workout uh, tracker or something else that helps you plan your day. And then what you can do then is to make a fill in the blanks version of your system. So then after a customer uh, purchases your system, they can pretty much start with that. What's also a good idea and what I've done is I provided like a video training with it. So what they actually get is like the actual planner they get a uh, script templates and also getting started a video tutorial so that they know how to actually use the system. All right, the fifth type of digital product you can start creating are private label products. Now, what exactly are private label products? Well, you can pretty much create any kind of digital product and then offer rights to the end user to be able to rebrand it or repurpose the content. So for instance, going into Etsy again, search for private label and right here you've got things like uh, done for you which is dfy that's the terminology they use and this is a bundle for different kinds of templates that one can pick up and 
actually resell. You can resell them as is. You've got Canva templates, Shopify themes, t-shirt designs, Adobe assets, and all this, by the way, are also some digital product ideas that you can model. Uh, we've got video editing effects, logos and fonts. So all have been essentially created. And if one purchases this package, they can essentially resell these or rebrand it with their own brand or sell it on their website, sell it on social media or what have you, as long as they follow the terms and conditions, of course, which usually is here. Here's another example. We've got 10 video courses with PLR or private label rights that one can use. Perhaps you're starting like a website where you want to have this learning platform for students to go to. You can pick up one of these uh, PLR packages. There's 10 video courses. Put in those video courses into your learning platform and then get students to start taking that. Obviously, if you want to start charging for it, you can. But that's what private label rights is. And think about what kind of product you can create that will grant the end user, your customer, private label rights. In fact, I've been selling private label products since 2006 at unstoppableplr.com. Uh, you will find PLR eBooks and mainly, you know, guides, things of that nature. And when one gets it, they can also rebrand the actual eBook that's created. So for instance, this screenshot here, we've got niche authority. This talks about niche marketing and how to find your niche and things like that. I see private label rights as kind of like wholesaling content and products that are ready made. So think of it like Alibaba, where you've got a ton of physical products that have no brand on it. And essentially you as a brand can purchase wholesale, buy in bulk and then slap on your logo. Same thing with private label digital products. But there you go, five types of digital products you can start creating today. Perhaps monetize your brand if you aren't already or adding an additional stream of income to what's existing. In the meantime, do watch this video here or this one here so that you can learn more about how to create and sell digital products.